what it is. I told y'all I'm heating up in this bitch. I'm burning the midnight oil and I'm bringing y'all exclusives as soon as they drop. I'm scouring the internet. I got I got I got my antennas out like a like an insect and I'm I'm grinding. I'm grinding. I'm trying to bring y'all the information as soon as I get it. But before we get into it, like, share, subscribe, come to this channel. I appreciate it. Look, man, y'all help me get this thing back rolling, you know what I'm saying? Help me get back in the algorithm, man. Y'all see y'all boy back. Y'all see I had a, took a little loss, you know what I'm saying? Lost my kid's mother, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that threw me for a loop, but I'm back, though. You know what I'm saying? They had me down, but I ain't pent down. Feel what I'm saying? But look, this one is exclusive. BTB Savage Mama just posted on her Facebook a couple hours ago, probably about, about an hour and a half ago. That D, the producer, the one that she accused of stealing BTB Savage clothes and jewelry and money after he was killed. She said that he brought the stuff back. <laughs> but listen, rest in peace to BTB Savage. But this case is 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 wild, fam. Like for real, for real. Like this, bro. Listen, I can't make this stuff up. So, and it's kind of got us back at square one because we was looking at D like D was the one who set up BTB Savage to get killed. You see BTB Savage to get killed. He got the $200,000 BTB Savage said that, your BTB Savage mama said that she got the video of who was in the house, who took the clothes after he, did, after he was dead, you know what I'm saying, who took the jewelry. D even t t texted her and told her he would return the jewelry, you know what I'm saying, then he deleted social media and all of this type of stuff. So he basically telling on himself. So we was looking, and then BTB Savage said that he was in the restaurant, he saw his homeboys texting the ops, trying to line him up. Then he went to texting his mama, telling his mama what the play was. So we all, we the internet, all everybody, we already had it narrowed down to D. But let's get this straight. D just brought the stuff back. So I can't help but to eliminate D as one of the people who lined him up. Because I don't think he would have brought the stuff back. And I don't know if he brought the stuff back physically or whether he dropped it off or had somebody take it to him or whatever. But I got to eliminate D from being one of the people who lined him up because I just don't believe he that dumb. But then again, who knows? These criminals nowadays dumb as hell. You see what I'm saying? They're kid going to make a rap song about it. So I don't know. But this case is looking crazy. All I know is some people going to jail because whoever did this is sloppy as hell. But... D brought the stuff back, y'all. The mama posted on her Facebook, thank you, D, for bringing it back. And she all happy. So it making me think she feel like D didn't line her son up. Because I don't care whether he brought my son stuff back or not. I'm not finna thank him. I'm not still, I lost my son. Damn that materialistic stuff. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to understand is, what, I'm, what, I'm, what is making me believe is that D did not have nothing to do with his death. D was just an opportunist. Oh, my homeboy got killed. Boy, I know he got that bag in there. He got this Amiri. He got this Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. He got this jewelry. Boy, I'm finna rock that. Which is some underhanded, slimy, like, bro, D, I'm gonna tell you something. This for me, I don't even know you, bro. But let me tell you something. Bro, you is a low-down, despicable, dirty individual. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, bro, this man dead, bro. You finna wear your dead homeboy stuff, bro? Like, come on, bro. What kind of class you got, bro? You ain't got no kind of class, bro. When you look up snake in the dictionary, your your picture is, is beside it. You might as well have something to do with his death because you would do that type of stuff after this man dead, bro. That's your homie, bro. Like, come on, man. Where your honor at, bro? You the type of dude that'll do something to a dude and then go to his funeral, bro. For real, you should be ashamed of yourself, bro. But it's all it's, it's too late now. You already done what people do for money. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. You done expose yourself, bro. You done expose yourself as this type of person, bro. The world see who you is now. You can't even, you can't even hide that no more. You're going to be known as the guy that stole BTB, savage clothes and jewelry and money after he died from now on. You feel me? Like, nobody ever going to trust you. You can't even get no fake trust from nobody. You know what I'm saying? If you was my brother, I'd look at you sideways, bro. You need to be ashamed of yourself for real, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, 
I got a couple questions about this situation that says D brought the 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 items back to his mama. Did he bring back the two hundred thousand? Because she never said nothing about that. And if he brought it back, which I doubt, if he brought it back, she probably wouldn't say nothing about it. Because that is, we all know that's scam money. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's if you if you get you can't you ain't gonna tell the police you got that. You feel what I'm saying? That's that they gonna come get that. And then you're going to be in motherfucking trouble for taking that goddamn money. So, but I don't think he brought it back, personally. No, you the same dude that took the clothes and the jewelry. And if she wouldn't have said nothing, you would have, you would have been gone with it because it came across your mind first to take it. So, you didn't bring the money back. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess that was some kind of like, um, some kind of uh, deal. Bring the stuff back, you can keep the money. You know what I'm saying? He probably brought the jewelry back and probably brought the clothes back. I get it. You know what I'm saying? When my brother died, we kept his jackets. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. A couple more questions. Um, it's looking like we still don't know who lined BTB Savage up. It looked like it was going to be D. But now it's looking like we still don't know who lined him up. It's looking like he had another group of so-called friends. We're going to call it, we're going to say associates gang gang that that was that 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 was that 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 back doled him like that's crazy bro did this man have that much beef in the streets jeez you got all my riches and people you know what i'm saying of course they don't you know they you know how they feel about you, you know what i'm saying then you got d who's who hanging around you he a snake you know what I'm saying? You got the other two producers that was with D when they took your stuff up out of the apartment after you did. And then who was in the restaurant with you who you saw texting trying to line you up? BTB Savage, boy. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be real with you, bro. Boy, it looked like your days was number in any ways. You know what I'm saying? Like It looked like your days was number anyways, And you was a very bad judge of character. And I'm going to tell you another thing, too. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something that I learned. If you a leader, if you're trying to lead somebody and the people that you lead and see you leading with underhanded tactics, like say you backdooring people, you you doing dirty stuff to people, those people that's behind you, they're not loyal to you. You know why? Because they seeing how you leading. You see what I'm saying? So they know that you're going to do, you'll do it to them too. You see what I'm saying? So they just hang around you and waiting for the opportunity to do it to you. You see what I'm saying? So all that backdoor scamming and all this, it just made the whole, let me tell you something. I don't seen people be real or fake real while, while they around real people. That influence of realness will have those people portraying to be real as long as the real person is in the equation. Now, when you take the real person out the equation, then they'll go back to being whoever they is. You see what I'm saying? But they'll be real as long as that real leader really leading them. And he putting that he putting that out there. We're going to be real. We're going to be loyal with each other. And they know that they if they don't, ain't real, they won't be a part of the clique. They'll be real for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because they know they'll be blackballed if they ain't. Just like if you lead with a, with a, with a, with a snake, backdoor, underhanded type of culture, it will also... Make your people who are under you be the same way, and they'll be waiting to stab you in your back, bro. And I think that's what happened, bro. I think BTB Savage had nothing but underhanded people behind around him, bro. And they seen him finessing and backdoing and doing all. I ain't gonna say backdoing, but finessing and scamming people out their money and not paying these people their money. And then they was like, "Shit, I seen him do it, so I don't got no conscience about doing it to him because I seen him do it to other people." How you gonna ask somebody to be loyal when they see you not loyal? You see what I'm saying? How you gonna ask somebody to be honorable when they see you don't you ain't honorable? They 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 might not be honorable and loyal even if you have those characteristics. But if if you don't have them, they damn sure not gonna have it. You feel me? And then you're already in the scam game anyway. That's already a that's already a honor a, a thief game a thief game anyway. You feel me? Even if you ain't taking it from if, even if you ain't taking it from a particular individual, you're taking it from a a business or, 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 or a conglomerate or something like that. So you, you're already stealing. So it's already ain't no honor in that really anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of disassociate it when it's a business or some people who got a lot of money. But I'm just saying, like, 
this is just sad, man. This is just very, very sad that we still don't know who killed BTB Savage, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say this. I'm going to eliminate D from the equation because I can't believe that D was still it. Steal the stuff, bring it back, and he really had something to do with it. Because he would have been in jail already. Because the mama already letting y'all know she going to the police, telling the police everything. You feel what I'm saying? So I think I think D did take the clothes. We know he took the clothes. He done admitted it, and he done brought them back, or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even even still, that's still theft. That's still a crime. You know what I'm saying? But hey, maybe the mama will press charges. Maybe the police won't press charges. Who knows? If I had to guess, I would think the police going to lean on D, though. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's a lead. You know what I'm saying? But... Who was the guys in the restaurant that BTB Savage said that he saw texting people trying to line him up? Was it the other two producers? Was it D? Was it another group of his friends? I don't know, man. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know. But I'm burning the midnight oil, scouring the internet, trying to bring y'all this information hot off the presses. I told y'all, your boy heating up. Please like, share, subscribe, come to this channel. I'm trying to get this channel back right, man. Chill.